Welcome back to our channel. In the ocean, what is the last thing you want to find yourself staring into the eyes of? Sharks probably rank high on that list, but this horrifying, gruesome, and chilling creature would make anyone eat their words. Jake, I think I'm afraid of the ocean. Here is why this jellyfish is the most terrifying thing in the ocean. Picture this, you're strolling, well, not strolling, but scuba diving, for example, and without the faintest clue that you're about to be sent to Davy Jones' locker. Life is cruel. You won't even see this enemy coming, not until you're tangled deep in its hold and 20 minutes away from certain death. Out of all the spiders, snakes, scorpions, and overall venomous things that run and crawl around the world, the notorious box jellyfish is the overpowered number one most dangerous thing, not just in the oceans, but in the world. Oh my God, what is that? Now, there are 50 or so species of box jellyfish, which are also called sea wasps. But one stubborn, particularly violent one tops the list of venomous creatures. How deadly could one tiny, nearly transparent thing be? The answer is surprisingly. <gasps> the box jellyfish's venom contains a deadly cocktail of toxins that painfully target your heart, skin cells, and nervous systems. The venom is literally so overpowering, so violently venomous, that you could literally go into shock. <laughs> Keep in mind that you're in the middle of the ocean, or at least close to the beach, but still submerged, so this shock equals drowning. You could also die of heart failure before you could even make it to the shore to get help. Help me, please! In the rare event someone makes it to safety and gets treated, you'll still stay in agony for the next few weeks. Where you were stung will forever be scarred. Now. You can find or you can avoid these jellyfish on the coastal waters off northern Australia and throughout the Indo-Pacific. This begs the second most important question. What do they look like and how can you tell if you're dealing with your average but still able to sting you jellyfish? The box jellyfish is pale blue and transparent in color. Its name, the box jellyfish, stems from the cube-like shape of its bell. A species called the Irukandji jellyfish, which is something you never want to encounter, measures just two inches in length. The Irukandji jellyfish is a mean killing machine, literally. Its specific toxin is 100 times stronger than a cobra's. Wow, very dangerous! Then you have something like the sea wasp jellyfish, also a member of the box jellyfish family. It can kill up to 60 people with one dart. Oh my God! The jellyfish's tentacles have around half a million microscopic darts. Each corner of the bell can grow up to 15 tentacles, and this is where things get horrific. They can grow up to 10 or 15 feet in length, and each tentacle has over 5,000 stinging cells. That's why if you get even the least bit brushed by a tentacle, you're one step into a watery grave. Even among jellyfish, box jellies are a highly scarily sophisticated and advanced species. Unlike other jellies, who just, like, float and drive through the ocean aimlessly, box jellyfish have the ability to deliberately move with a speed of up to four knots. Making them even more skilled hunters, box jellies boast three unnerving eyes in clusters of six on the sides of their bell. And each of these clustered groups has a pair of eyes with an advanced, evolved lens, cornea, iris, and retina. Their irises can contract in bright light. What does this ultimately amount to? Box jellies' bodies, their vision, and speed, they all lead to the theory that they actively hunt their prey. Thankfully, prey refers to small fish and shrimp, not humans, although we do get occasionally caught in the crossfire. In the event of being stung by a box jellyfish, what will the next few minutes of your life feel like? For one thing, a sting from the world's deadliest jellyfish isn't something that you won't realize. You'll know right away that you've been stung. Some people are so overwhelmed by the pain that they go into shock. And that's before the actual, more painful, deadlier symptoms show up. So you haven't gone into shock, what are the other painful symptoms that could happen? 
The lesser, least fatal symptoms are stuff along the lines of welts and blisters, which form on the area of the sting. Feeling faint is also another symptom, along with intense pain. That's in the case of a tiny sting. If the welt is over 700 millimeters long, the probability of death veers more towards inevitability. It can occur between 5 and 20 minutes after the encounter with jellyfish. The more severe symptoms escalate quickly. Cardiac arrest, collapsing, difficulty breathing, and paralysis. The species mentioned earlier, the Irukandji sting, is so notorious that it's known as the Irukandji syndrome. The syndrome includes vomiting, shooting pains, severe headaches, and difficulty breathing. Check out this video. It's specially selected for you. You'll like it.